If the buildings would be compared with the planets, then the cosmos would have been not only immense, but full of life. If in the inside of the buildings there are apartments, then how would seem this arrangement inside the planet? Born in 1656, the British astronomer Edmund Halley did not only identify the famous comet that bears his name, but he also had fascinating ideas about the Earth's interior. In 1692, during the period when major changes in science took place, Edmund Halley proposed that our globe is a hollow. He described this theory by illustrating three inner spheres placed inside one another. Halley believed that the diameter of Earth is about 8,000 miles. 2,000 miles he supposed to be a solid ball with an approximate magnitude of the planet Mercury. Then a great space separates the core from the second sphere, which the thickness of is about 500 miles in the magnitude of the planet Mars. Again, an immense atmosphere separates the second sphere from the third one, which Halley supposed to be of the same thickness of about 500 miles with approximately the same magnitude of the planet Venus and latter, a great atmosphere which separates the third shell from Earth. A great nesting planet that can be compared to the matryoshka doll function. Halley believed that these spheres can support life. To those that shall question what use these spheres can be, it must be allowed that they be of very little service to the inhabitants of this outward world. But since it is now taken for granted that the Earth is one of the planets, and that all are with reason supposed habitable, through we are not able to define by what sort of animals, since we see all parts of the creation abound with animate beings, as the air with birds and flies, the water with numerous varieties of fish, and the very earth with reptiles with so many forts, all whose ways of living would be to us incredible did not daily experience teach us.
Witnessing the extraordinary phenomenon of Aurora Borealis, Halley thought it is caused by the escaped gas of inner worlds emerged through the fissures of the North Pole. Could there really be immense spaces within our Earth? Or could there really be life? Based on Halley, yes. So, now on, consider that your neighbors can be beneath your feet and not only above the sky. <laughs>